back at it again, and uh, we got to talk about this uh, Tyree situation, okay? Now, uh, he was buried recently, and of course, you know, the whole funeral, and people come and speak, and um, there's something that I want to really touch on with this whole situation that I think is, um, I think, important to speak about, right? Because it comes back around to playing the game. Now, I, 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 I say that with the utmost respect because obviously someone did lose their life and I don't want to make light of a person losing their life. Obviously, that's always tragic. Now, we can get into the nitty gritty about the whole situation, but I'll spare you guys that. I've already gotten into that a little bit in a previous video talking about it, okay? But um, I've got two clips that I want to uh, show and then I will say what it is that I need to say. Like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and um, let's dive in. And act like the folks we had to fight for to get you through them doors. You didn't get on the police department by yourself. The police chief didn't get there by herself. People had to march and go to jail and some lost their lives to open the doors for you. And how dare you? Act like that sacrifice was enough for nothing. You ain't in no New England state, you in Tennessee. Where we had to fight for you. And you take that position and do what we saw. And then some of y'all got all this mess on social media. Let me tell you something. I don't know what you writing on social media. I know what I saw on the tape. And the tape speaks for itself. They never asked this man for his license. Never asked for the car registration. Snatched him out of the car. Uh, there, there has been a rumor, rumor, uh, that Tyree was, um, possibly, now this is just a rumor, don't know this to be true, it is not a fact, okay, I want to make that clear, this is not a fact, we don't know, it's a rumor, and I think that's what, uh, he was just alluding to there about what people, the mess on social media uh, but there's a rumor that Tyree was clapping the cheeks of one of the officer's girlfriends. He was piping her down. Uh, I don't now listen. Like I said, that is not a fact. That is a rumor. It could be totally false. It could be completely made up. But I think that's what he was alluding to when he said the the mess on the internet. I think that's what he was talking about. Now I don't know that for sure, but. I'm guessing that's what he was was meaning by that situation. But let's continue on. Was he not also entitled to the right to be safe? So when we talk about public safety, let us understand yeah. what it means in its truest form. Tyree Nichols should have been safe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'll just close by saying this. I was, as a senator, as a United States senator, a co-author of the original George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. And as vice president of the United States, we demand that Congress pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. Joe Biden will sign it. And we should not delay, and we will not be denied. It is non-negotiable. And with that, I'll just, Pastor, if you don't mind, I, it, one of my favorite 
verses in scripture is Luke chapter 1, verse 79, which tells us God will help us to shine a light upon those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet in the way of peace. Let our memory of Tyree shine. All right, that's enough. Um, I was showing all of that because of one very important reason. Now, whenever we see these tragedies happen, right? Black person passes away. You always see what? Anything in this picture look like the rest? You always see the same old characters, the same old tired characters coming out for what? Political gain. Every single time. Every time you see these, these disgusting, these disgusting Democrats use bodies as for, for political gain. Every time. Every time. Guarantee you. The next time. A person of color happens to pass away. Guess whose faces you will see. Now I think we can all say amen to that. Guarantee that one. Um, and my point is. I think it's time for Republicans to come out and play the game. You always see the Democrats come out and, oh, we got to protect, blah, blah, you know, playing the political game every single time. And I'm not saying Republicans have to come out and be disingenuous, but at least come out and make your presence known. Let people see your face because Democrats have gotten away with putting on this front that they care for far too long. They put on a front. Oh, we're going to come to the funeral. We're going to come and we're going to speak. Putting on this front that they care. And it permeates throughout society, especially amongst black folks, which I'm ashamed to say. But it has black people thinking. For some odd reason, I, I I still don't understand it because I I see straight through the BS. I see straight through it. But it has a lot of black people thinking that not only do I have to vote for Democrats, but Democrats are the only ones that care. When that couldn't be any farther from the truth. And I told you guys, whenever these whatever big situations happen, I immediately go to social media and I go to big accounts that, um, what, what, what's the, how can I say this up? That are predominantly followed by black people, right? Cause I want to see what people are saying. I want to see what people are saying, what people are posting. I don't, I don't normally engage with any of the comments, but you know, I'll just scroll through just, just to read, just to see what the temperature of the room is. And you know, there was one account that I went to. I can't speak for them all because I only went to one this time. But there was one account that I went to that's followed by predominantly black people, at least from the comments. I, I see just black people. I don't I don't know their demographic with 100% certainty. I didn't like break into their account to see their demographics or anything. But just from the comments alone, you know, in people's profile pictures, you can click on a profile. Oh, this is, this is another black person. Oh, this is, a black, you know. A lot of people were calling them out. And the top comment, I forgot exactly what it said, but it said something along the lines of, you all are being fooled. Now, this was posted by a black person. It said, you all are being fooled. They're playing, they're running a game on you. And so I clicked on that comment and I read the comments that were underneath it. And a lot of people were agreeing. So it's good to see that the tables are turning ever so slightly. That people are starting to realize the games that these folks are playing. It's all to make money for them. It's all to make money. Now, they would never say that, of course. I get it. You can't come out and say that. 
they would look really, really terrible. Um, but my point is, how do you guys feel about Republicans coming out and going to some of these events like Democrats do? I think it's time that Republicans start playing the game more. It's not enough to just sit back and hope that people open their eyes to the BS. It's not enough anymore. As a Republican could have gone up there and spoke the same way that Kamala and, 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 and these race hustlers always speak, but just could have provided a bit of light on the situation, a bit of truth. Just told the truth. Right. You don't have to play into the political uh, 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 um, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say games because you should play the game, right? You play the game until you win the game and you make sure the game never has to be played again, but you got to win first. So do play the game, but you don't have to be a race hustler, right? When you, when, you know, as, as a Republican, when you go out to any of these things that, that happen, you don't have to be a race hustler, but you can go up there and speak the truth from the Republican perspective and let these folks know what really is going on. Maybe even call out the Democrats. Democrats go to all these situations and circumstances and what has changed? You always see Democrats show their faces. What has changed? You know, you, you come on and say something like that. Maybe you'll turn, some, some people might be turned off, but a lot of people may be like, oh, wait a minute, he's actually right. You know, I'm just saying, it's time for Republicans to play the game. I'm sick and tired, and I haven't even been paying attention to this for very long, but I'm already tired of watching Republicans just sit back and, and watch the whole thing play out. While Democrats are out there just oh, just, just playing on the chessboard. We're going to move this guy over here. We're going to move this person over here. We're, oh, oh, that one there. And it's just like, what is going on? I don't know. Maybe you agree. Maybe you don't. Let me know why or why not in the comment section. I, 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 I am just focused on winning. And if winning means playing the game, which it does, in my humble opinion, then we have to play the game y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below like share comment hit that subscribe button before you go and let's stop these terrible race hustling democrats from continuously using bodies for political gain i'm out